This video is part of a series exploring the history of science and religion. For an introduction to the series, please refer to the first link in the description below. Nicolae Oresme was born in 1320 in Normandy and made significant contributions as a scientist, particularly in the areas of astronomy and mathematics. He wrote over 30 different works, and the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy states that, quote, he is generally considered the greatest medieval economist, closed quote. Professor Dan Burton at the University of North Alabama has authored a text devoted to exploring the significance of Oresme's text entitled De Visiones Dolorum, or On Seeing the Stars. In this text, Burton presents several original contributions of Oresme in various fields, including astronomy and mathematics, with particularly notable studies on the topic of atmospheric refraction. In one of these contributions, Oresme presented a geometric depiction of a rule that was widely used at the time, called the Merton Mean Speed Theorem, to gain insights into atmospheric refraction. Using this geometric depiction of the Merton Mean Speed Theorem, Oresme was able to utilize his observation that the area of triangle ABC must be equal to the area of rectangle ABDF. To see to some extent the significance of this, let us assume now that the line AC represents the velocity of some particle x with constant acceleration, while line AB represents the duration of time over which this particle travels. Next, let's assume the line DF represents the velocity of another particle y traveling at a constant velocity equal to the velocity of particle x at time AB over 2. Because the areas of the two shapes are equal, it can then be concluded that the total distance traveled by the two particles is the same. While this is a trivial conclusion for anyone who has taken basic calculus today, it was profound for a scholar who lived about 300 years before Newton and Leibniz formalized the theory of calculus as we use it today. Marshall Cleguet, a professor emeritus at the Institute of Advanced Studies, reported that this idea was so profound, in fact, that its use by Galileo can be traced back to the works of Oresme. Furthermore, although he lived about two centuries before Galileo, it is documented that Oresme presented an argument for the possibility of a non-stationary Earth. While Oresme wrote significant works on astronomy, physics, mathematics, and economics, his areas of expertise included theology and philosophy. Evidence indicates that he received his doctorate in theology from the College of Navarre at the University of Paris in the mid-14th century. He was appointed as a bishop in the Roman Catholic Church to the Diocese of Lesseau in 1377, a position which he held until his death in 1382.